The demand for gold is increasing, yet new discoveries of this precious metal are remaining at a pace that cannot keep up with the demand. They're saying that the funds for the exploration of gold right now are historically at a high point at $54.3 billion. That's up 60% over the past 18 years. Now, of course, there's pockets in reserves all across the globe. It seems like it's always a race to try to find them. And for instance, if there's an area like the Arctic that has a lot, it can be a confrontation spot, just like the South China Sea, the Spratly Islands, regions like that, that have a lot of precious metals or oil, things of that nature, that they're looking to get their hands on. But in terms of gold, all the money that's been spent and put into this to try to recover, well, it's been snowballing, and what they're getting in return, obviously, is not what they were wanting. In the past decade, there have been 41 discoveries that have resulted in a mere 215 million ounces of gold. And even counting recently discovered but unexplored mines, which may hold as yet major discoveries, the total available amount of gold in these discoveries are not expected to surpass 363 million ounces over the next 10 years or the next decade. Looking at numbers further here, they state 263 major gold discoveries have been made in the past 28 years. That is it. But half of those discoveries happened in the 90s. This boom lasted up until the turn of the century, when the rate of discovery began to decline. Only 16 discoveries were reported from 2000 to 2002, which produced 108 ounces of gold. That amount was below the average finds of the 90s. The decline then continued with both new discoveries and the amount of gold mined decreasing steadily and by 2010 only 18.6 million ounces of gold was discovered, a severe drop from the 61.5 ounces found in 2009. Now, money to do this exploration is not the issue. A lack of funding is not the issue. They're saying $54.3 billion has been allocated to exploration. It's just the fact they're not finding it, is what they're stating. And if they are, they're not saying anything. Gold. It is the precious metal that was a reserve as a currency in a backer of currency for some time, always the go-to precious metal. And they always talk like it is in abundance. I think it's also interesting that when you look back at some of the most ancient stories out there, say, for instance, of the Anunnaki, what is it state they came here for? Gold. So as this becomes a commodity that there's less and less of out there, I'm going to tell you now, at some point, the price of gold is going to explode. And it's going to stay there. In my opinion. And you never know. I haven't uh, heard of the exact situation with platinum, palladium, or silver. But in terms of gold, this is an update. And look at the official numbers of the findings. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace.